So last month I showed how I integrated my cold tub with my smart house. This video is going to smarten up my sauna. I, you could argue there's nothing smart about boiling and freezing your body, but I'll leave that for others to debate. So three years ago I bought this cheap $200 box sauna and uh, eventually its zippers wore out. So it gave me an excuse to upgrade to this much more expensive jacuzzi sauna. Infrared saunas only get up to about 130 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas non-infrared saunas can get up to 200 degrees or above. There are some studies that show health benefits to getting above 140, so I, I did some hacking. I followed some tips from a fellow YouTuber, that link below, that showed how you can add some insulation and an infrared uh, space blanket, along with some plastic edging to seal up gaps and improve uh, insulation and heat loss. I also, instead of opting for uh, an expensive third ceramic heater from Jacuzzi, I bought this cheap $30 space heater. And in addition, I took the panels and electronics from that old $200 sauna and I tacked them onto here so that I get additional heating. Now one of the advantages to these smaller saunas is that they can run off of normal outlets, but those two additional heating elements would break that circuit breaker. So I had an extension cord and we, we feed those two additional heaters from a breaker in a separate room. For the smart home integration, I use the same Adafruit ESP board, with the LCD built into it. I like the Adafruit boards because they have the STEMIQTT ecosystem where you can easily daisy chain together different sensor boards. So we start here with a temperature humidity board. If you follow the red and blue brick road, you get down to a proximity sensor, which uses a laser LED and sensor to detect time of flight for distance measuring. I positioned it here so it can detect when I'm both sitting and standing. You can demonstrate here if I put my hand up to it and you look at that number in the middle right you see it getting bigger and smaller if I hold it really close for a few seconds it'll reset that timer in the upper left it goes back to zero and will stop as soon as I exit you can use the jacuzzi app and control panel to turn it on and off at specified times but that's not very flexible and us Crazy smart home people love flexibility. So I engineered a crude but effective hack that uses a servo controlled artificial finger that allows the house to toggle the capacitive power button on and off. My initial versions worked, but were not reliable enough. So I 3D printed this servo mount and arm and added a spring and wrapped some wire around to mimic the capacitance of a human finger and then the house to monitor when it's on and off we use the z-wave device energy monitor my first 3d prints use standard pla filament which unfortunately melted once i got above about 150 degrees so i reprinted with a petg filament which has been good up to my maximum temperature of about 180 degrees the esp board also starts to fail at temperatures above 160 Putting it in this alcove keeps it below 130. Unfortunately, my tablet in the alcove would often turn off at the end of my sauna session. So I hung it on the outside of the glass where it can stay nice and cool. Like the cold tub tablet, it has two purposes. One is a photo and video slideshow. And the second is it displays relevant smart house data like the sauna temperature, sauna timer, and various cold tub data. I have a second tablet I keep down here to stream movies and TV shows on. I keep it down low to stay cool, but more importantly, next to these cracks here, so it gets enough cold air, it can stay on even during my longest and hottest sauna sessions. So I'll demo here how the house controls the sauna by using the C-Wave button to turn it on. Toggling sauna state. Right, well, trigger the servo to turn on the sauna and the uh, z-wave module turns on these auxiliary heaters and we'll turn it back off toggle it again toggling sauna state Voila. now here's one more demo of the house controlling the sauna you can see the standby power is two watts if i toggle it on you can see the ceramic 
heaters kick in, then we go to full power, and then we toggle it off. Sauna toggle off power was 1,621. We can also review the, or track the temperature and energy data via these plots. You can see my cold tub data, and here's the sauna data. This is the most recent activity. Uh, the yellow is the energy and the blue is the temperature. Here's some other plots showing yesterday's sauna along with my two-day cadence. So I'll spare you the Node-RED and MicroPython coding details. If anyone has an interest in that, uh, let me know and we can do a follow-up video. Until then, thanks for watching.